We lost no time in getting over to that Acropolis Hill. 230 feet high, there are staircases that take you up, and needless to say, there are crowds of visitors here just about every day. Up at the top, everyone wants to see the Parthenon, which is considered the culminating masterpiece of Greek architecture. And there it is, a temple sacred to the goddess Athene. There are 17 columns on each side, or eight in the front, so beautifully designed with a system called entasis that none of the columns are straight, nothing is straight on the whole building, and it looks straight, and that was the idea, an optical illusion. And so the columns give the impression of straightness, although they taper towards the top and lean inward. Here on the hill, too, is a smaller temple called the Erechtheum. We had a, this again is still the Parthenon. Tremendous temple. Again, culminating masterpiece of Greek architecture. The Erechtheum has ionic columns, and this has the famous portico of the maidens with statues, and one of these statues was taken to London by Lord Elgin and replaced by a substitute, and it's still the subject of some dispute between Greece, you might say, and England. Pallas Athene, the goddess of wisdom, 